exciting and one of the most popular fighters in the UFC. On Team Ortiz for the Ultimate Fighter Season 3, he did win the competition. He was voted the 2008 coolest man in the UK. 18 and one overall, eight and one in his mixed martial arts career, unbeaten as a UFC middleweight, Michael the Count Bisping. He's really coming to his own, Mike, especially since the drop down to middleweight, which I think is the ideal weight class for him. He was just a little bit too small for some of those guys at light heavy and at middleweight, this is perfect. This is a big step up for him in competition though. For sure, Dan Henderson is the toughest, most dangerous guy he's faced at middleweight. Loves to throw the hands and let them go quickly. Fighting out of the Wolf Slayer Academy. Born and raised in Manchester, England. Build a friendship with Rampage. That's why Quentin Rampage Jackson trains in the UK now. Czech Congo. Michael the Count Bisping coming off nearly an eight month layoff, the longest of his UFC career, because he was coaching against Henderson in the Ultimate Fighter, realizes that if he can knock off the former multiple pride champion and two-time Olympian, he may be staring right at Anderson Silva in a shot at the UFC middleweight title. I think you're absolutely right, Mike. If he can win this fight in spectacular fashion, he's definitely the first guy in line for a shot. He has embraced the bad boy role as he's set for the biggest challenge of his fighting life. I mean, he's not just talented, he's such a character as a human. I mean, it's funny that they need subtitles to hear him talk, but you, 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 re you really do. You, you have to read what he's saying to try to understand him. When I do interviews with him, I, I miss like every third or fourth word. I mean, he's like right out of a Guy Ritchie movie. Former postman in Clitheroe in the UK and the 12th biggest sports personality voted on by the BBC. Competition, and he badly wants a rematch with Anderson Silva because he said that his cut to 185 against Silva was not a very good one. So he feels he can beat the middleweight champion, but to get that potential shot at a rematch, he must first get through the bread. But physically, he looks phenomenal. He looks in excellent shape, and this is about as confident as, we, as we've seen him coming into a big fight, Mike. It's very cool and collected. and Henderson. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. The American, eight years the elder of the Brit. Bisping will have a slight reach advantage. With the official introductions, once again, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, three rounds in the UFC 
middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Valley Judo fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins with one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, he is the ultimate fighter season winner, Michael the Count B. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins with seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, he is the former two-time champion of pride, Dan Hendo. Action begins. Our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee, Bisbing, and Henderson will finally do battle. Sold out. The chance of USA. Hendo in the white trunks. Bisping in the white and black trunks. One of the things that's really shown, that we've really seen an improvement on Michael Bisping over the last few years is his footwork and his boxing. And I expect him to use a lot of that, a lot of footwork, to avoid the big power right hand of Dan Henderson. Bisping never been finished or knocked out. Henderson never been finished or knocked out. Never been TKO'd or KO'd in his mixed martial arts career. Henderson trying to hunt down his opponent. There's that big right hand. Swing and a miss. Man, Henderson's looking to load up. And that's what he does. He's got vicious power in that right hand. And his left as well. He knocked out Vanderlei with a left hook. Bisbing's strategy, Joe, is to stick and move. Stay away from a potential clinch game with the Greco-Roman Olympian. And utilize what might be a speed advantage. But we saw him employ the same sort of stick and move strategy and get a victory over Chris Lieben. But Chris Lieben is not Dan Henderson. Oh, he's rocked him early. Henderson got to watch him down. Henderson teeing off on Bisping. Bisping may be hurt, Mike. He landed a couple of good shots there, though. Hendo again, again with the right, right hand to the body. And nice elbow. elbow. Man, Henderson looks good. He looks very solid, Mike. You know, this might have been the motivation that Dan Henderson needed to train really hard. Physically, like I said, this is the best he's looked in a long time. He might have needed a guy that he really disliked. Coming off the ultimate fighter, Team United States against Team United Kingdom. And it's no secret that the Brits ended up dominating that competition. That angered the prideful American as well. But the thing is, is Henderson, Henderson won't say anything, Joe. He'll just fight. And fight as well as anybody in the history of the game. Yeah, he's not one for trash talk. I mean, the, the most trash talking he did was call Bisping a douchebag. <laughs> Which was a pretty good line. Versatile word. Good right hand by Bisping, though. Bisping lacks no confidence and has a ton of skills, and he may very well know, Joe, that he just needs to weather an early storm and the big right hand to Henderson. Bisping's starting to loosen up a little bit here. And as you said, Joe, he's got tremendous footwork. Has improved that drastically since the Ultimate Fighter he, competition. He's also very good at sticking to the game plan. He doesn't get sucked into any unwarranted exchanges or falling in anybody else's game. When he fought Chris Lieben, he did exactly that. Just stuck and moved, stayed on the outside. Henderson would like a slugfest. Bisping would like a technical battle. Neither man thinking about taking this to the ground yet. Bisping misses with the uppercut. Bisping really circling. Now he's circling the other way. Joe, for a while, he was circling right into that right hand and the power of Henderson. 
Bisping's got to be careful he doesn't walk right into it. Good kick and a punch afterwards by Bisping. Henderson just looking to load up on that right hand. The problem with that, Mike, is that Bisping sees it a mile away. Yeah. Bisping does a great job of tucking the head and keeping not just the hands, but the arms up over the top. Good right hand by Bisping, partially blocked by Henderson, but now Henderson mauling him up against the cage. The Greco-Roman wrestling skills coming into play for Dan Henderson, landing some good knees to the body. He's great at controlling his opponents in this position. He's great at ragdolling people, too. Yamasaki warning Bisbing about grabbing the shorts of Henderson. Michael Bisbing 3-0 as a middleweight. Bisping gets free, but he got free with a message, and that message was in the clinch, Dan Henderson is going to dominate. Dan Henderson actually smiled at him, like, are you kidding me? Are you going to take me down? to show that kind of tired in the middle of the ring. You're walking right onto the backhand, mate. Get off his backhand, he's absolutely pathetic. Calm down. Moving to the right. Move to the right, Mike. Okay, listen. Okay, listen up, listen up. Suck up, son. Mike, listen to me, son. This is all being stand up most of all. Move off his backhand, make him miss, make him pay. Michael, double a jab, step across, Everyone. Mike. Close round, close yeah. round. He, Michael, he, he edged it out. Yeah. It was a good round. Jab, step across. It's slow the right hand down, add the left hook to that. Hold this. Hold it up. Joe in the corner. Get to work, get to work, get to work. Michael Bisbing. His trainers are angry, and they said exactly what I kind of mentioned to you is that he's walking right into the right hand and the power of Dan Henderson. Yeah, his trainer is absolutely furious at him. That guy's right out of a Guy Ritchie movie, too. <laughs> Want to drink with those All dudes. kinds of Guy Ritchies. Rampage in the corner of Bisbee. Are you second round, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, come on! Second round. <laughs> Bisping with that light front leg, looking for kicks. He's, he's taking on more of the Muay Thai stance in this round. Inside leg kick. Bisbing is the poster boy for the UFC in the UK. Dan Hardy starting to follow behind, but Bisbing came over, won the Ultimate Fighter, Joe, and kind of started to, to set the way for the UK fighters to have success. And so many have now. It's, you know, really interesting seeing all these great new talented fighters come from over there. And uh, this past season of the Ultimate Fighter really showed that. A clean sweep by the UK. And we've had Henderson lands a big right hand, Mike, and a left hook behind it. Man, Henderson is just stalking Michael Bisbee. Very confident, Dan Henderson. Patient, picking his shots for that heavy hand. 335 remains in round two. Uppercut. Hall of Famers in attendance here tonight. Hoist Gracie. The star of UFC 1. Good jab by Henderson here. Here at UFC 100. Chuck Liddell. Inducted into the Hall of Fame yesterday. One thing that you, you don't see a lot of from Dan Henderson, Mike, is feints. He kind of wades in and looks for openings and throws big bombs, but he doesn't fake a lot. 
Missed with the right hand. Joe got a little off balance there and almost got hit. Just about at the midway point of this non-title fight. And he's looking to load up, Joe. You can just tell when that left shoulder comes up, the right hand is soon to follow. And his opponents know it, but a lot of times they can't do anything about it. Bisping in and out a lot more effectively here yeah, in round much, two. Much better second round for Michael Bisping. And this is what Dan Henderson's got to be careful of, that Bisping doesn't outpoint him. Henderson charging after him now. Bisping again is circling Mike towards his left, which is Dan Henderson's power side. As he goes towards his left, he runs into the big right hand of Dan Henderson, and that's what his coach didn't want. This crowd on its feet, celebrating the Americans' victory over the Brit here tonight, Bisbing. Bisbing's fine, and what a class act he is. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Dan Hendo. Shut him up. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I, I believe I uh, accomplished that for a little while. I don't know if he'll ever shut his mouth completely, though. Were you surprised that he kept circling towards your right hand, and were you timing him because of that? No, that's what he does in every fight. After watching him, he tends to circle off to my right hand, and I didn't think that'd be a smart thing to do against me. Well, it, it obviously was, and let's take a look at the big screen, and here is the knockout. You see, as he circles, you catch him on the button. Congratulations, we look forward to seeing you again. Dan Henderson, ladies and gentlemen. Right from Henderson and Bisping to the welterweight title fight between the champion, George Rush.